Jeremiah 24, verses 6 and 7. My eyes will watch over them for their good, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not uproot them. I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord. They will be my people, and I will be their God, for they will return to me with all their heart. I was listening to a podcast a few days ago, and the pastor had mentioned that he had prayed this verse over his kids their whole lives, and it got me thinking about my own prayers for my kids over the years and how they've changed so much. I remember as a young mom feeling a sense of awe and wonder that God would entrust me to raise these precious little people that I got to call my son and my daughter. When my husband became a Christian, I remember feeling a burden lift that I was no longer the only one praying for them and that now it was something we could do together and share with one another our cares and concerns and bring our burdens to the Lord. I remember asking the Lord to teach me how to pray for them throughout all the growing seasons that were to come, and then something very interesting happened. I found a very cool book called Power of a Praying Parent, and it transformed my way of thinking about prayer and partnering with Jesus and raising them. It was at that moment that a light bulb went off in my head and my heart, and I felt such a relief knowing that God loved each of them even more than I did which I found hard to believe, but yet knew to be true. I learned how to pray the scriptures over my kids and speaking and declaring God's promises over them daily. It has been a most incredible journey. As a mom or dad or as an auntie or uncle or as a grandma or grandpa or even a friend of someone with kids, I encourage you to seek the scriptures and find verses that the Holy Spirit highlights to you and write them down and pop them in a prayer journal or on sticky notes and watch and see what God does as he answers these prayers that you pray. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. Luke 11 verse 9. As we pray, I encourage you to please pray with the perspective of where you are personally in terms of raising up disciples younger than you, whether they're your own children or others that God has entrusted into your care. Let's pray. Papa God, I thank you that you promised to never leave us and never forsake us. I am so grateful that as a parent that I have the opportunity to partner with you in prayer and in raising my kids, and I ask for an increase in wisdom and guidance and direction and discernment as I lean not on my own understanding, but on yours. Jesus, what an incredible honor and blessing to have the responsibility on raising up little disciples in my home every single day, teaching them grace and to seek you and all that they do. Help me be an example to show them what walking in close relationship with you looks like on a day-to-day basis, recognizing I am not going to get it right all the time, but that this is why we need you, Jesus, every moment of our days. I'm forever grateful for you and for your love and your compassion and your care, Papa God. I can't imagine doing this life without you to walk hand in hand through the journey. You are the perfect Father, and I ask you to open my ears to hear you and my eyes to see your goodness all around me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.